Assalamu alaikum and very good day to the honorable judges and all viewers. Today, I, Nurdia Hana Binti Shamsul, will tell you a story entitled The Princess and the Salt. Many, many years ago, in a kingdom far, far away, lived a king with his three daughters. The king loved them very much for they were good and beautiful girls. But one day, he decided to test how much they loved him. The king gathered his daughter around him and asked each of them the same question. How much do you love me? Oh, father, I love you as much as all the diamonds and all the rubies in the world and more, say the eldest daughter. That's excellent, say the king happily. Dear father, I love you as much as all the gold and silver in the world and more, say the second daughter. Wonderful, say the king and smile. Then it was the youngest daughter turn. My father and king, I love you as much as all the salt in the world and more. The king was very surprised at her answer. What did you say? I think I must have misheard you from the king. I said I love you as much as the salt, repeated the youngest daughter. How dare you! Your sister loved me as a diamond and gold, and you love me as a little of salt? Leave this kingdom and never come back, said the king fiercely. He was so angry and humiliated that he banished his youngest daughter to the forest. Sad and rejected, the princess began to wander in the forest when suddenly she heard a sound of horse. Hoofs galloping towards her. Frightened, she hid. The princess hid in a hollow of a tree. The horse halted near the tree, and a handsome young man alighted. I'm a wealthy merchant, said the young man, and I live in the neighboring kingdom. What are you doing all alone in this dark forest? The princess then told him her story. I love my father very much, but he doesn't understand. She soap. One day, he will, consoled the merchant. They quickly fell in love, and soon they were married. The wealthy merchant brought the princess as his bride to live with him in his mansions. One day, the king lost his way while hunting. He reached the mansion of the merchant. Hungry and tired, he approached the merchant and sought the young man's help. Although the, although the merchant knew the king was known none other than his wife fathers, he kept quiet about it. I shall arrange food for you, your majesty, he said. The merchant then went to his wife, the princess, and told her about her father's arrival. The princess decided to do the cooking herself. Not long thereafter, a big feast was presented to the king. Starving, he quickly began eating. But then he realized that the food had absolutely no taste. What is this? I cannot imagine that someone could ever eat this food like this, said the king. The princess said, Hello, father. Your food is herbal because it does not have any salt in it. Your life will be terrible without salt, won't well, it? Do you understand now how much I love you? The king held his daughter in his arm and apologized to her. They hugged each other and lived happily ever after. The moral of the story is always appreciate people and things around you, even the smallest things. For one day, they might become a big team. Thank you.